Good morning. We're taking a look at week 10 calendar and explanation. If you click on here, you're going to see the calendar for the week, uh, which includes the assignments and how we have decided to break them down. Um, obviously, everything is released on Monday and you can go at your own pace, but um, this is a nice way to spread the workout so you're not feeling overwhelmed. So please note that. Also, please note no writing quiz released this morning due on Tuesday, no writing practice released on Wednesday. Um, it's not considered late if it's completed by Sunday. And the bonus for doing that is that if you want to reset your quiz, you can. All right, moving on. We have our discussion post number seven. Let's take a look at the question. It says, choose a movie or show that displays man versus man and explain why it fits that category. Choose a movie or show that displays man versus nature and explain why it fits that category. And then choose a movie or show that displays man versus society and explain why it fits that category. And then which category do you enjoy watching or reading as a consumer? Explain, and then it says that is a mandatory question. So you get to pick two of the first three, but you have to answer number four. Everybody does. Um, you need to respond. Each answer should be five to eight sentences. This is where a lot of people are getting points taken off of their discussion posts. Um, I think on average I'm getting three, like total. Um, and that's not going to um, get you a very good grade. I'd say that's probably why quite a few are averaging between nine and 12 points out of 20. Um, also remember that you have to pick two out of three, and in this in this case, you'll have an additional question. Um, you're going to have to make a comment on somebody else's post. Um, this will be great for bringing in outside information because you can bring a quote in um, from that movie or that show to help you out. All right, let's take a look and see what else we're doing. Oops. Um, we have another gim kit. Um, so we will be playing this. If you're in my class, we're going to be playing it together. Um, I, hopefully I lowered the amount of money, um, that you need to end up with. And I, um, gave you some starting money, um, to help you through that should be an easy one. They're all lit terms. Um, that should be a review for most students. And then, um, I have a lot of these are due on Thursday. One's due on Friday. Um, you have, oh, you know what, and I may have made that a mistake on the calendar. I think I put Day of the Last Rock Fight Part 2 as due on the 6th, but you know what, that's okay. We'll keep it due the 6th. That won't be late. This right here, Day of the Last Rock Fight, <clears throat> you have an audio of the first half of the story, but you also right here have a PDF of the piece. Whoops. Did I just move that completely someplace else? Yes, I did. There we go. You have a PDF of the piece that you can read on your own. And then here's the actual activity. This is what needs to be turned in, is this document right here. Um, everybody has their own copy, and then you have a turn in button. You're going to have to listen or read the audio before you can go ahead and submit that. So it says, listen to the audio 18 minutes of the first half of the story and answer the following questions in the Google Doc that has been assigned to you individually. There's also a PDF copy of the short story that I will be reading to you. So that's part one. Here's part two of the story. Same thing, different Google Doc. You'll have to submit that. I know it says the fifth, but we're going to go ahead and um, let's change that to the sixth. So let's edit that right now, and we'll change that to the sixth so everything matches up. That'll work. And then the last thing that you have right here is an assessment. You have to use your Google Chromebook for that. It is a formative locked assessment, um, and it should be able to um, give you your score at the end, I believe. If not, I'll grade that quite quickly. And I would definitely play, definitely play the Gim Kit game um, before, you, before you tackle this quiz. And obviously, read the short story. If you have any questions or concerns, please shoot me an email, and I will talk to you guys later.